G'day guys, how you doing? And uh, welcome to another night of some Astro Photography. But this time we're going to be testing just how good the CQ350 tracks. That's right. I finally have my ZWO ASI 120mm camera. So now we can actually do some guiding with this setup. To give you guys a little bit of an idea of exactly what we've got going on here so that way you can make the best judgment yourself on how well the CQ350 works because let's face it, every mount is going to be manufactured slightly different and it is a mass produced mount. So take this video with a pinch of salt but hopefully it answers some of your questions for you at the same time. Now we've got a UniGuide, William Optics UniGuide uh, 50 millimeter, sorry 50 200 millimeter um, guide scope with the ZWO ASI 120mm. Um, with that we've got the ASI Air Pro and on the back end I've got my Z7. Uh, Astro modified with obviously the massive Esprit 150. Now we're going to uh, shoot a whole range of exposures tonight on the uh, Tarantula Nebula. And that's going to range from a 30 second exposure all the way up to, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. We'll see. And what I'm going to do is they're going to be single exposures, um, but the raw files are going to be available for you guys if you're interested in downloading them and checking them out. And you can do that via the link below in the description. All right. Well, all we've got to do is wait for it to get a little bit darker so we can begin our polar alignment process. And when it comes to guiding, polar alignment obviously is extremely imp uh, important, as well as um, the uh, uh, balancing, that's right, balancing and uh, everything else like that. Like, yeah, there's, there's a lot of factors that are involved. Um, the other thing too is the, uh, how level your mount is as well. So. Um, a lot of factors play into how well your tracking and guiding uh, is. Um, I'm going to do this from a traveller based uh, photographer setup where we've just put the mount on the ground, we've roughly adjusted the, uh, the level fairly close. Um, the balance, it's reasonable and uh, the uh, settings is going to be just base ZW ASI Air app um, calibration. So no changes there whatsoever. We're going to keep this bog stock as simple as possible and we're going to push the guiding and see how well it performs. All right, so that's enough rambling. Pretty happy with tonight's uh, conditions. A little bit gusty every now and then, but I think we're in for a ripper of a night. All right, so we've slew to NGC 2070, the Tarantula Nebula. Um, the conditions tonight are obviously clear, but it's a little bit breezy. So let's take that into consideration. A little bit breezy with a big refractor. However, it is quite heavy and the mount's quite sturdy. So I don't really see that being too much of a problem. Now we are going to uh, get our guide over here. Uh, hit the refresh button, I think. Um, start our guiding. All right, now we're underway guiding. So while that's doing that, um, I guess, let me let that settle. Um, I guess we do an auto run. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, we're just going to use um, single uh, exposures for this and all the exposures are going to be 
um, up on my uh, website. I'll leave a link below. So if you want to check out uh, all those images and even download them, um, if you want, I'll uh, make that available to you so that way you can um, really check out uh, the stars, I guess, um, and the guiding, how possibly poor is on my behalf, not the mounts, my, anyway. Um, so we're going to go, let's change things up a bit. So I'm going to add in some exposure times. Let's just go really crazy. So we're going to do, uh, uh, let's change this to one. So we've got so we've got a 60 second exposure, 120 second exposure. Let's go a 30 second exposure. Um, let's just remove these some of these darks and bias frames because I'm not doing any stacking. So we've got 30 second, let's start that again. We have 60 seconds, 120 seconds, 30 seconds, 300 seconds, 600 seconds, and 1000 seconds. Um, so we're really going to see just how good our guiding is, or how well this mount performs on super long exposures using the Nikon. Z7 Astro Modified in DX mode to give this a little bit of extra crop factor with a 1000 odd focal length, uh, 1050 f7 focal length, however it does have a reducer um, so that is shortened a little bit to I think around about 800 and something at 5.5, um, don't quote me on that, uh, yeah, let's uh, Let's get cracking and I will leave the guiding going so that way you guys can see it. So I'll come back to this a bit later. Mm -hmm.